So the weekend we were there, the Whistler Film Festival happened to be on. We had a snack and a drink at the hotel, then headed out for the evening. I was wearing my new blanket scarf, my parka from the Couples, and Zara pleather leggings and tank top. Our first stop was Bar Oso. They are known for their gin and tonics. I had the long table cucumber gin and Philip's cucumber mint tonic, and Stephen had the Brockman's gin and Philip's philosopher's brew tonic. They were so good. That night, there was a music showcase for various artists, so we headed on over to Garfinkel's to check it out. We headed back home on foot. The bridge to the black home side of Whistler has color changing lights at night, which make for really fun photos. The next day we walked into the village and saw this cute dog sitting outside Aritzia. Later we chilled by the fire. I absolutely love sitting by a fire outside in the cold. That night we had a quick drink and snack at the gold lounge before heading to Araxi for dinner. Every time we are in Whistler, we have to go to Araxi. It's an upscale West Coast restaurant which specializes in seafood. I started with a pisco sour, delicious. My favorite appetizer is prawn cocktail. At Araxi, it's super fresh and I love the sauce. Steven had the pork and I had the risotto with prawns, winter squash, and sunflower seeds. It was delicious. The next morning we packed up and got ready for the drive home. We took the camera and went for one last walk. The Chateau Fairmont is located at the base of Blackcomb Mountain, which is about a 10 minute walk to the village. So we headed over to see what's up. That day, the weather was absolutely gorgeous and I didn't want to leave. You have to walk over two bridges to get to the village and I couldn't stop filming. Whistler on a clear day is just breathtaking. I brought the charger. I, know. I can use it. <laughs> <laughs> 